So uh, SIPs, what is that? That word is uh, heard a lot in uh, spoken word circles, but if you don't hang around with spoken word poets, you might not know what SIPs is. What is it? SIPs stands for Canadian Individual Poetry Slam. This is a, a competition, a poetry slam competition that happens once a year as part of the Versus Festival. Uh, this year would have been the 10th anniversary of SIPs. It started in 2011. Uh, it brings together the top 40 poets across Canada to compete to see who will be the Canadian Poetry Slam champion and represent Canada on the global scale at the World Poetry Slam in Paris, France. That's very exciting. It's pretty much the biggest competition in Canada in terms of individual poetry. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it usually happens in Vancouver. Yep. In, always in Vancouver. In April. But now, uh, because of the COVID pandemic, we're uh, changing things up for it. What's happening this year? We've, we've had to do a little transition since... Um, since our venues are not open and uh, we cannot gather together, we are going to be gathering together online. Mm. There's a wonderful app called Blue Jeans, uh, which will be connecting our poets electronically through video chat to do their poems from across the country. And uh, same, same normal Poetry Slam rules apply, um, as in there will be a judged competition, but uh, obviously the judges will be at home in their own homes and typing their scores into a chat box. And uh, we will crown a Canadian online Poetry Slam champion this year for the year 2020. And uh, in these uh, trying times, we've decided to deem this tournament Apocalypse. Mm. <laughs> it's a good pun. I like it. It goes. It goes well with this bunker. I think. <laughs> Definitely right. The color scheme, anyway. Yes, I think we have a great theme going, and actually, we've changed the rules a bit. Uh, in poetry slam, there's something that we do called an anarchy slam, which uh, denotes that there are no rules. So normally in a poetry slam, you would have no props, no costumes, no musical accompaniment. Well, we decided that um, going with the Apocalypse theme, we are going to have none of those rules in place. Mm, good. Uh, so the poets are free to use props, use costumes, use music to heighten their poetry and give us the best online poetry show that we can have. Mm-hmm. Could they use video if they wanted? Have a video running in behind them or something? Anything they want. Let's let's go. Let's let's use our creative uh, de devices and all everything that we can use. They should use it. Sweet. So obviously the f festival could have canceled SIPs altogether, uh, but we're going to transition and attempt to do this online version. Why do you think it was important to to keep? putting that festival on or that tournament on even though online this time well I think especially with everyone being uh, cooped up at home uh, there's still a lot of art being made um, probably a lot of inspiration due to these trying times and uh, this is a tournament that a lot of poets and poetry fans look forward to and uh, I don't think being at home should be any reason to stop us from uh, enjoying poetry and uh, performing poetry and and trying to keep this uh, this yearly tournament going mm -hmm. uh, can't can't stop that momentum you know um, and if it has to happen online in in video form then so be it and we will make it happen and we'll make it the best online poetry slam. It can be. Now, you've participated in uh, the Canadian Individual Poetry Slam before as a, as a poet. Oh, yeah. And now, and now you're running it. Um, 
I've how, come full circle. How's the transition been? <laughs> it's uh, it's been great actually. The the Sips tournament is one of the reasons that I moved to Vancouver. Uh, I'm originally from Mississauga, Ontario, um, and being able to represent your hometown is is a point of pride I think for a lot of people when it comes to Sips. You know, you you become the best in your hometown and you win a qualifying slam and you get to represent your hometown on the national stage. Um, and I mean, Vancouver is a beautiful city. So coming to visit uh, so many times, I just eventually fell in love with Vancouver and decided to make it my home. Mm -hmm. And uh, when the opportunity of being tournament director came up, I thought it'd be a great opportunity for me to take the knowledge that I've gained through competing and through being a part of this festival and the tournament and help it uh, be the great tournament that it is for the 10th year running. And uh, when will it be and how can people uh, sign up if they want to take part? Um, so May 1st is going to be the sign up online. You can email me at sips at vancouverpoetryhouse.com to register your spot. We'll be taking 40 poets. Um, if I have more people sign up, we'll start a waiting list. Um, but yeah, it'll be 40 poets um, competing on Thursday, May 21st. And Friday, May 22nd, will be the preliminary bouts. That's when we'll do it, be doing our one-minute and two-minute poems. And then finals will be on May 23rd with the top 10 poets from the preliminary rounds competing in finals doing three-minute poems. Mm -hmm. And we'll have people from all across the country, theoretically. For sure. Um, yeah. From, from the east to the west, north to the south. Fantastic. Well, congratulations on uh, being innovative and uh, coming up with a new way to uh, you know, connect people and uh, share their work with the uh, Apocasips tournament coming up very soon. Yeah, it's going to be great. Best of luck.